Every year, the world uses up to 5 trillion plastic bags, and at least 13 million tons of plastics end up in the oceans, the equivalent of a full garbage truck every minute. So in marking the World Environment Day this year, governments, industries, communities and individuals come together and explore sustainable alternatives to single-use plastics. The Society for Environmental Toxicology and Pollution Mitigation, a not-for-profit professional organization, gathers students and environmental stakeholders in Lagos at a public lecture to commemorate the World Environment Day. What we need are actual, tangible results which we all can bring to the table. And while addressing even academias, I would say it takes collaborative effort. Manufacturers, there's a policy now, Man manufacturers need to ta start taking responsibility of the entire life cycle of their products. It's not just selling and then forgetting about you know, the waste. Plastic is an incredibly useful material, but it is also made from toxic compounds known to cause illness. And because it is meant for durability, it is not biodegradable. It now creates problems for plants, wildlife and even human population. Get broken down not into other bits, but into small, small pieces that end up in the uh, in the stomach of organisms, in kind of fishes, whales and the rest of it. And they block the alimentary canal, so they're not allowing digestion of food to really take place. On its part, the Nigerian Environmental Society partnered with the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria to discuss how the aviation sector in the country can also contribute to the solution. Well, just think about that meal they give to you, the bread, whatever it is they bring in that uh, tray to you, you know they are all wrapped in plastics. All of that, where do they go to? And their destinations? Nobody knows. We have been thinking of uh, strengthening our recycling process, getting uh, the refuse into those that are recycled, that can be recycled, those that those that are biodegradable, which can naturally uh, get uh, destroyed by nature itself. But most importantly, the, uh, recycling those that cannot easily be destroyed. Even children are not left out. The purpose of Bloomsville in a sherry north on the outskirts of Lagos send out the message, we can touch the world. It is a known fact that disposable plastic packaging is overwhelming our planet. Even babies are born pre-polluted by the harmful chemicals in plastics. And so the message on this day is reject single-use plastic and simply refuse what you can't reuse. Ayola Kasim reporting for Channels Television News.